The surface of food is covered by millions of different microorganisms. Although most of these are harmless, some types can make us ill. Let's see how you can easily prevent foodborne illness in the home by catching up with different households. Ah, we've caught Emily unpacking the shopping for tonight's meal. Raw chicken is often contaminated with foodborne bacteria and must be packed separately from vegetables and other foods. No Campylobacter on my salad tonight. Thank you very much. Now, let's talk about storage. Separate areas of the fridge should be used to store different foods. Raw chicken should always be placed on the bottom shelf of the fridge, away from vegetables to prevent cross-contamination. Eggs should always be stored in the fridge to prevent the growth of microbes. Before preparing and cooking food, it's essential to wash your hands. That's a nice amount of soap there, Maria. And yep, you guessed it, keep surfaces clean too. Cleaning hands and surfaces regularly helps reduce cross-contamination, keeping food safe. Good food safety also includes washing food. Washing fruit and vegetables helps remove any bacteria living on the surfaces. But don't wash the raw chicken, Thomas. It's easy to be distracted staring at your phone. You don't want to spread Campylobacter across the kitchen. After cleaning, the cooking can begin. And it looks like Lucas is busy in the kitchen. Using separate chopping boards and knives for raw meat and vegetables prevents cross-contamination. Mmm, something smells good in Katerina's household. Cooking food thoroughly kills bacteria like Campylobacter. Let's have a look here. No pink bits, clear juices and optimum cooking temperature. Fork, please. It looks like Carmen has been cooking massive portions again. It's important to store leftovers properly in the fridge or freezer. The fridge should always be set to four degrees or less to stop microbes from growing. And there we have it. Wherever you live, whatever the recipe, whomever you're sharing it with, make each meal special and safe and be a food safety champion. To learn more about food safety, visit the Safe Consume and Public Health England eBug websites.